yeah, what a, what a great crowd, enthusiastic crowd. It was a huge part of, of our win today. Uh, beat a, obviously you guys know as well as I do, as good a coach team as there is in college basketball. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really good Florida team. That's the best that we've defended for 40 minutes, uh, probably all year long. So proud of our team down the stretch game was at 10 or 12. We just kept getting stop after stop. I think Neb Hart, and I've told you guys, is one of the best I've seen off of ball screens. Brian, Brian wanted to guard him. He wanted to guard him. He's talked about it for two days. I thought Brian did an unbelievable job on that part. I mean, because he's, he's a handful. He kind of gets everybody going. So uh, just a great team effort. Uh, a lot of guys contributed today and uh, it was, was a good Saturday afternoon for the Rebels. In addition to uh, defense, Kermit, it looked like you had both your guards scoring at the same time. I know you wanted to see that. Yeah, we did. I, those guys played like a really, really good college backcourt today. You know, I thought Brian – you know, he had 23, but he affected the game in so many ways. Devontae, big steals, hands on balls. Uh, what was it? Devontae got, I guess, three rebounds. Brian got four. Devontae, three steals. Brian, two. And then Devontae, five assists, two turnovers. So you're right, Parrish. He, they, they were terrific today. Is that as good of a game as, as uh, KJ has played on both ends? It is. It's, it's the best he's played. You start looking, he has four assists and no turnovers. You know, in 14 and nine. It was good. He went and got some offensive rebounds and critical times. He ran some kind of some set things for him. He finished around the goal. I just thought he and Adim and Blake, they all three, even dude, I thought they just they just played and tried to attack it. But I was really proud of KJ today. Along those lines, what's kind of different for Devontae offensively the last couple of weeks? It seems like he's kind of uptick in scoring. Yeah, you know, I don't know. He's just gotten himself in a rhythm, just in a good rhythm. And, you know, he just, he, you know, today he's, what, he's five for nine. Uh, five of them were threes. I just think he's guarding well, and you know, I just I think he's really had some of the same shots he had. He's just kind of making some opportunities that he missed earlier, and we all know we we talked about it. You know that it, we knew he was going to get back in rhythm and play well. In an up and down season, how do you maintain a culture? It's a good question. You know, um, and I say it all the time is that you know I know as a media you got to do your job, but we, we we didn't we didn't look like a one in whatever team. We didn't feel like a two and seven team coming in, but we were one. Because you got to come into our gym every day and come into our locker room every day and watch us practice and watch how our guys go about their business. And so as long as that's happening, I, I get a feel for our team in practice. And, and so just the culture of practice, leadership in the locker room with Brian and Devontae, Blake, and KJ is important. And, uh, and like I said, we just totally shifted to trying to win February. And I think those guys have bought into that. And another big opportunity, obviously, against State on a Tuesday night. Those lines. Uh, you guys had a double-digit lead, and then they cut. They came out, got within I think two. Was that right, man? Got within yeah. a couple. And you guys went on a run from that point forward. Earlier in the season, you guys didn't go on runs like that. What was that kind of some of the toughness you've been looking for? No doubt. And you know what we're doing, Neil, is we're guarding on the other end. You know, we, we were guarding. So even some of that maybe offensive lapses, you know, we, we were guarding and got stops after stops. And uh, Brian put us on his back. I just think now we're just getting multiple scoring. You know, we almost, you know, we had three guys in double figures, almost four. Uh, you know, Dream had six. So just, just four or five guys in the scoring column. And just the balance just helps you get off of those kind of three and four minute, you know, kind of pieces of games that, that you can't score. Better to have a night like this than one where – Brian goes for 35? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I love Brian as long as we win. You know, it's great. But, yeah, this is more like what, I, what, what you think college teams look like. And every now and then a great player like Brian, he's going to go get 30-something. That's just what those, those special guys do. But tonight, I mean, it was just so balanced. You know, the ball moved better. Uh, you know, 16 assists against a Florida team on 26 baskets. That, that's a great percentage. You brought up that mantra of winning February a couple of times. Why do you think that's clicked so well with the well, because I think I think our guys knew we have a good team. We've talked about it. Some of the some of the leads that we've relinquished and you know, double digit leads in about three or four games in the SEC that we didn't we didn't take care of. So our team knows that you know if we can put everything together that that who we are. I, I just I just want them to look ahead, look forward. And, and we talked about that the schedule kind of comes in our favor. Not easy teams, but at least get to play at home. We're on the road a bunch, starting Wichita State, and, and, and how you know, in good games. So I, I just think they have a confidence about them, and they got to back that up, you know. And they won a couple games, so now hopefully that'll uh, that'll take shape, and you know, we're going to play a, a really, really good Mississippi State team on Tuesday. Yeah, I was going to ask about State. I mean, obviously it's really early. But what's the early scout on them? What you believe you've seen from just their physicality? I mean, Reggie Perry is playing as maybe as good as any forward in college basketball right now. Robert Woodard is just. You know, they, they've got an older team. 
You know, they, they, they're just uh, – the way they rebound, the way their bodies look, they're playing with a lot of confidence. They've gone on the road and won. And uh, so, like I said, they've just, they've just got a really good college basketball team. And uh, I know our team will be excited about playing them on Tuesday. Anything else? Uh, Coach, you, you went to Colin early in the first and second half to guard Blackshear. What kind of advantage do you think he was going to give you on the defensive end? You know, I, I was really proud of dude. I mean, that was a tough matchup. You know, we'd, normally he'd guard the four, but he, he went there and battled. Blackshear, who's as good as low post scores anybody in our league, and uh, I, I was really proud of him. I, I just think that he's he, his practices are so much better. Uh, his attitude is great, and uh, so he's really helping us in a lot of different ways. Made a bucket today, so I was proud of dude's effort. Anything else? Thank All you guys. Right. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming.